Hello, Ben Moore here from Training with BM, helping you to work smarter, not harder. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you one of the most amazing Google Classroom updates that's happened since I've been using Google Classroom, and that's the ability to have rich formatting on your text within Google Classroom. Now, this is a game changer for many educators, and I really want to get on to showing you how that all works. But just before I do, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button below this video and click the bell to turn on my notifications so you don't miss any future videos. So let's get started. So the great thing about this new update to Google Classroom is that it applies to both old and new posts anywhere within the stream and classwork tab of Google Classroom. So in this example, I'm in the Google Workspace Skills All Staff CPD Google Classroom. So I've posted a message to all of my staff here on the 25th of February, so this is an older message. I'm gonna go back and edit that now and include some of the rich text formatting options that are now available. So I'm gonna click on the traffic light menu and click on edit in the post I'd like to edit. And you'll see at the bottom of the text body here, I now have the rich text formatting options. So I have the option to make things bold, italics, underlined, part of a bulleted list, or to remove formatting from a particular part or the whole message. So in this example, I'm just gonna make this particular paragraph uh, a bullet point. So I'm just gonna highlight that paragraph and click the bulleted list option. And when I click enter here, if I'd like to make another bullet, bullet point, it will just drop that bullet point straight underneath and you can have as many bullet points as you like. So for this particular example, I'm just gonna have the one. Now I'm also gonna highlight and make my email and my colleague's email, Darren, um, bold. So that really stands out to the people reading it. Now you can either highlight and click the B at the bottom here, or if you're into your keyboard shortcuts, you can highlight this particular um, bit you'd like to make bold. And if you're on a Windows or Chromebook device, you can click Control and B. If you're on a Mac or an Apple device, it's Command and B. And that will make that bold as well. So you can just see how that will now stand out to people and grab their attention as soon as they go onto the stream page of Google Classroom. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this post as it is here. And you'll see the updated view here. So I can see I've got a bullet point there and I've made uh, mine and my colleague Darren's email addresses in bold. So really stand out and grab your attention as soon as you go onto this page here. Now this also applies to new posts in Google Classroom. So you can see here when I start a new message, I have those rich text formatting options appear at the bottom of the text body there. So next I'm gonna to go to the classwork tab in Google Classroom. And I'm gonna to go to a task or assignment that I set previously on the 4th of January, the What is Google Workspace document. I'm gonna edit that and include some of the rich text formatting options that I've just showed you in the stream page. So I'm gonna hover over that assignment to get my traffic light menu appear and click on edit. And you'll see this appears in exactly the same way as the stream announcement did just, uh, just a moment ago. And you can see this is a very plain set of instructions for the educators or my learners to read. Um, and let's be honest, as educators, we know whoever we set these instructions to, they just skim read. They don't really read the instructions as we put them. Um, but this is a great opportunity to make certain parts stand out and really grab the attention of our readers uh, by using these rich text formatting options. So this is a research task, so I might want to highlight and make that bold. Again, I'd like to make that un underlining as well. Uh, so I can either click underline or if you're into keyboard shortcuts on a Windows or Chromebook device, it's Control and U. Or if you're on a Mac, it's Command and U. So I'm going to make that underline there as you can see. Now I'm just gonna highlight certain pieces of text here or make them metallic and bold just to make them stand out. So uh, for example here, I'm just going to um, put, there are bronze, silver and gold for each tool. Let's make that italic. So either I could click the italics button here or if you're using a Chromebook or Windows device, it's Control and I. And if you're using a Mac or Apple device, it's Command and I. I'm gonna make that bold as well just so it stands out. Let's make it underlined. Let's do all three, why not? Okay, I'm gonna make this part a bulleted list as well, just to make it stand out. Now this applies to both old and new, and as soon as I click save and go back into that task, you'll straight away see my updated instructions using the rich text formatting that I've just shown you there. If I create a new assignment, again, I can see those rich formatting options the same as I did if I was editing an older post. So this new update is available to all Google Workspace customers, so long as you have Google Classroom as part of your package. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and if you have, let me know in the comments below, and I'm gonna leave a link to all my social media channels in the description below this video as well, so feel free to contact me on any of those, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.